Hello everyone, welcome for another XTC game. This is still round 4, but now game 6 between France and Switzerland. Pierre on the left, Sebastian on the right, and to today I am joined by Eledar himself. Hello everyone, and thanks for having me. Alright, that's my pleasure. Um, do you want to start with the lists? Uh, should I take Sebastian's list? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, then we have Hera with tracers, and then we have Garvin with server motor death foils, Rogue Squadron Escort with fire control system and R3 astromech, and at least Kyle Katarn with Chin Erso and Moldy Crow title. Okay, so the list looks pretty uh, close to what we already saw in the past with the ROG Squadron X Escort being uh, basically uh, benthic with Leia, etc. Is, yeah. is there any particular reason why um, you chose to, to change that? He don't like the U-Wing. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He he loves the the e wing, so he will play the e wing, and that's that's the reason. Okay, well, more fun for him. Well, but that, that that that's a good reason. We're yeah. here to have fun, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> right. So on on Pierre's side, we've got the MVP, the Bandit Squadron pilot, the one that is always doing the work that uh, Wedge cannot do. Um, Cassian Endor with this uh, removing stress ability, Crackshot, Leia Organa, uh, and the, the, the wings, obviously. Uh, you've got then Gen Ors, uh, allows you to add a die with a stress for her uh, in attack. Uh, engine upgrade so that the boosts are uh, white and the uh, multi crow title, such, uh, such as Kyle. And then Wedge Antilles with the uh, negating uh, agility uh, dice, uh, crackshot as well, and the S foils, such as Garvin. There you go. So, bettings open for those who want to. Um, who want to. Uh, well, bet on the. The faction, the team, the player, the country, the uh, the, the, the color, I don't know. Like, choose what you want. <laughs> the country, Switzerland, of course. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. That is, I'm, I'm looking forward to this game because we've got some some different initiatives, which is like you, you, you can literally have some initiative kills any time in this game, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you've got the obviously uh, very good combo uh, with, uh, between sorry between um, Garvin and uh, Hera. So yeah. for for those who might not know, I I believe there is probably uh, one or two wondering about it. Uh, Hera can. Uh, can give a focus lock or evade token to a friend uh, in need of that type of token during the modified attack, uh, during the modified uh, dice step. So basically, when you are attacking or defending, and Garvin says, when you uh, spend a focus token, you can give an ally a focus token. So basically, with Hera, I mean, with Garvin having no focus. And in need of a focus, you can you can give one with Hera, then Garvin spends, and Hera gets it back, so that he can uh, serve another ship or Garvin once again. So that is the uh, the um, <laughs> some might say Open the abuse. Combo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this this is a very looking, very good looking combo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's. 
Um, yeah, it's a it's a huge combo, but they ha uh, they need tokens. So yeah. if the ship will bump, no action, then no no uh, tokens around. So then they will die fast. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, th this is the reason why the uh, the U wing and particularly Benthic plus perceptive copilot was the the chosen, uh, I mean, focus carrier, because with Bentic you can guarantee that a ship that is going to bump or stress or anything can have a token at least, or you can yeah. just guarantee that a ship that will have a token, well, basically will get two, which is quite good as well, because you, you can have a Garvin race going to the front, uh, with focus, evade, and Hera uh, just uh, um, just uh, behind him, with also a focus and an evade, which is like amazing. And then, if it were not uh, enough, you have Jin Urso that can change focus into uh, <laughs> into evade, which is like <laughs> I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Um, did you see the uh, the talk about um, what is Gorman has a focus on on defense, and he rolls um, blank focus, spends focus, give it to Hera, Hera give it back, and they, takes the evade and has have so two with with oh. blank focus you can two make two evades. Is is that possible? <laughs> Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> oh man! Oh well, that that for me is the limit of uh, Hera. I mean, l there we enter the abuse step, I believe. <laughs> I mean, if you if you ask me, uh, my my opinion is this is an abuse. Yeah. Because like, oh but, man, this is crazy. But but Garvin has to need a focus first, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Most time you will take a target lock with Garvin, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But yeah, I mean, th it's this possible. is the, this is the good thing about this list in particular. This is the the kind of list, and there are not many lists like this one, where you basically, with two defense die, you kind of always come up with two evades. Yeah. And the thing is, if your attack is not quite well modded, then I mean, you you rely on your defense on your defense. You you you, blah, blah, blah. you rely really well on your defense, which means like if it like if <laughs> if it blows up, your list is completely out. But um, if the if the defense is good, and in this list it is pretty much optimized, then the only thing you have to worry about is having the correct amount of tokens because you do not yeah. want to have more than what you need, like Kyle Katan having four uh, focus tokens. Uh, it's like you can pass one, but what is the uh, what is the goal about that? But if you have the perfect and correct amount of tokens, the list can be really punishing because you can have like oh, uh, I mean, two of your four ships, and this is the case with the E-wing having target locks, and then you can have focus with those who do not have target lock, and you can pass, and you can pass again, blah, blah, blah. That's just... Yeah. That's just very good looking. Yeah. But yeah, the list don't like uh, many shots, so if there are swarm on the other side, then focus will come, and then come to damage through, so... Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's it's a really, really, really good list, but yeah, not a perfect list. Yeah, for sure. The, the, thing, the thing I'm... I'm wondering about is is this list uh i mean if if you look at the um the meta right now you've got several lists that are just really hard to punish uh like the double fire spray of course is the one that is above like mm -hmm. for probably above above everything then you've got like the the baron swarm which is oh, yeah quite menacing uh, I mean, I, I put the Baron's Swarm and the Inquisitor Swarm like pretty much in the same package, but there are these are two different lists. But I mean, in the number of ships and probably abilities, etc., that looks 
quite the same. Uh, you've got like those two archetypes. But this kind of list counters more, uh, as you said, lists that have fewer um, ships. Exactly, I think, yeah. yeah. Because like against barons, I'm not sure this list is good. But against fire sprays, it's really hard for fire sprays to punch because, like, you only you already you only have two shots a turn. I mean, you've got yeah. um, so like maybe three shots a turn, but like three shots against this kind of capacity is like ugh, really threatening. Yeah. Ah, we're getting close. Yeah. So our MVP going hard <laughs> to the enemy. <laughs> the Ewing follows. Oh, this will be the Joust. Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah. We will be get uh, a lot of pew pew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we say that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what, I mean, who is favored by going in this kind of approach. But the thing I'm noticing is if the Z95 survives the first engagement, it might be really painful for uh, Sebastian as he can just block one or more uh, ships from, uh, from the rebels. Oh, you've got yes. car, range one. Ugh. So he might not be <laughs> alive at the end of the turn. <laughs> Probably. I mean, who who do you want to... Sh when you are Pierre, and we, we can do the same with uh, Sebastian just after that, Who, if you're Pierre, who do you want to be shooting at in the first place? The Rogue Squadron or Kyle. Oh, yeah. Not not Garvin. Yeah. Never shoot Garvin. Mm -hmm. That's that's the trap, right? You send him yeah. like range one with a target lock and just one focus, and you're like, shoot me, shoot me. But that's yeah. that's not what you have to do. Oh, and he's lined perfectly lined up for a crack shot. Oof. Could be interesting. Oh, will Hera we be able to shoot tracers onto wedge maybe? Yeah, I think. We could have a dead wedge right right away at the end of the turn. If so. I think that's the target you have to go, uh, Sebastian, first. Mm -hmm. Wedge is so annoying. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is probably the the rebel ship that dies, that dies really fast in every list. Like, you see wedge, yeah. you see a target, <laughs> and you. <laughs> this is the first one you shoot, anyway. <laughs> Oh, he's debating to shoot Garvin? Oh no. Oh no. No, don't shoot at Garvin. <laughs> I mean, he already... I mean, he only well has one die, so that's 3v1. So anyway, with the uh, f passing focus shenanigan, you already... You only... Uh, yeah, confusing already. Yeah. Only, you only has have one die, which is... Uh, which is very good. And he is using Gen Or's ability as well. Yeah, so forward can be a half match. Ugh. No. Yes. Yep, there you um, go. Yeah. Spend focus, give it to Hera. There you go. So no damage. And uh, Hera has now three focus. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, looking and there good. comes the traces at Wedge. Now she can spend with uh, without any doubt, and there you go. Yeah, and we'll go through and target lock for everyone. <laughs> and now you've got the <laughs> two evades that are just useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, target lock oh. party. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like seeing those droids taking calculates, but it's. Uh... <laughs> It's a uh, it's a target lock party. Yeah. And now the all sh shots for Sebastian in, into the wedge is double modified. Yep. And this is scary. 
I mean, with yeah. Hera, you could all, almost say triple modified. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So Jan on to the E wing. Mm -hmm. And ooh, ooh, good shot. Oh. Ooh, and blank out. Ouch. Band one focused for an evade, so. Yeah. So this will only, only, in, yeah, only be two. So yeah. Yeah. So there you go, one, two shields. I mean, you, you could have expected this, I mean, the E-Wing being halved, if Wedge had shot the E-Wing. But yeah. Now, yeah, just two shields is quite good. Oh, man. Ooh. So Garvin shooting at Wedge, I Arcade believe. Lock. And at Wedge, yeah. There you go. Focus. There and you go. focus back to Hera. Three hits. And Wedge is... Oh, and... man. <laughs> On fire! <laughs> <laughs> Second time, two evades with Wedge. Yeah. Only one shield. Okay. Um... Ooh! That's looking good. So fire control yep. and R3. So yeah, no no crack shot on the E-wing. Uh, Wedge has the focus, so only taking one. one. Shield's gone on Wedge. So you have like how many shots? Uh, one, just Kyle. Okay, Kyle remaining, and this will be it. Yep. Um, Cassian has the crack shot. Maybe Pierre was hoping. For I uh, was shooting Garvin for this particular shot because the U wing uh, matching the bullseye is not that often, so maybe he wanted mm -hmm. to maximize the uh, ability of Cassian to use this uh, crack shot. Okay, with two, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, and it is really strong as a uh, crack shot happens like after everything, so. This is really cool for Pierre because this is one way of having damage going through anyway. Yeah. Uh, did he remember to crack shot? Did he do nope. it? No. Nope. Did not? Oh, okay. That's surprising. No, not the kind of player to forget things, so I believe this was intentional, but for what reason? That, I don't know. And Two hits from Kyle. Target lock. Yeah. I don't see a reason why you don't. And you don't. Okay. Maybe you range <laughs> three? Yeah. This is the game of surprise. Oh, but that, uh, well, that will be two. Half points on wedge. There you go. So you traded nothing for 29 points on to wedge. Sounds. Well, maybe not. There's one shot left with the bandit. Yeah, the bandit. The one that could. Yeah. And Garvin has no focus. Yeah. So This this could be a massive shot actually. Yeah. And it's the right time to go into Garvin now. <gasps> and three hits. Oh man, and... this is amazing. Alright, okay, well. So, yeah, so you traded half of Garvin for half <laughs> of which, I'm sorry, I forgot about the MVP, but I told you it was the MVP, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that was a pretty good turn of attack for, uh, for Pierre, for sure. Yeah, yes, yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't see why, like, like uh, Dr. Diminisher was saying in the chat, I don't see why you did not shoot the E-Wing. I don't see why you did not use crack shot on to with um, with Cassian, I believe. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't think he forgot. That's that's a bit weird. But uh, so if he did not forget, and this was attention intentional, what was the reason behind that? Because yeah, no. I, well, I he want, wanted that garden, and that's a possibility to to do that. So. Yeah, I mean you should do that. But yeah, I mean if if you don't shoot the E wing, doing, I mean putting every shot onto Garvin seems pretty fine because you are going to burn focuses anyway. 
So that is mm -hmm. good. Even though uh, Hera gets it back, I mean, why not? That's that is like you've got to think about that. But why not? But then why keep the crack shot? That is the good. That is a good question about this. Yeah. Because yeah. now, now you can Leia, for sure, which is... Uh, I mean, I'm not sure you do it this round, though, but you could Leia right now with the Ewing uh, in this particular position. Um, not looking very good, not looking very bad, but you could, like, three... Um, no, you, you cannot three, uh, three K turn the bandit that would bump. I'm not quite sure what you do here. I mean, for Sebastian or uh, or Pierre, I'm not quite sure what you would do in this particular situation. To um, bend it probably too hard to the left. Yeah. To to try to block the one yeah, straight one bang. from Carbon. Yeah. Um. Jan is probably going one straight or maybe maybe one bank. Should be better. Yes, then one straight or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you 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 are uh, between those two gas clouds, so there is no yeah. no problem doing a a one straight for sure. And now the question is, what do what does uh, Sebastian do? Because you you may want to block the one bank from Jan, but that won't prevent her from uh, using her ability. Okay, we are going into activation, so mm -hmm. Cassian removing stress. One bank. Oh, maybe aiming at Kyle now. Because Garvin yeah. might go through the bandit, but... Mm -hmm. mm, too straight and... Oh, maybe that was the plan. Catching Kyle on Cassian's bullseye? Is that relevant? Huh. Yeah, when you have the the, the, the um, crack shot, then use it. I think. Yeah. You don't know if you uh, become it another time. Yeah, yeah, I, I I do agree. I do agree for sure. Oh, he's coordinating a focus to. So there's a 4K from Vetch, maybe. Yeah, it's. Does it land? Uh, yeah, maybe. Or maybe you just want Wedge to target lock as well, so you've got five dice, focus target lock, yeah, which yeah. is amazing. Okay, E-Wing focus. And there that's go. the bump. Oh Garvin. no, but now you've got, yeah, now you've got the range one with crack shot uh, with Cassian on Garvin. Yeah. Which is not bad as well. Two bank from Jen. Ooh, the E-Wing at range 1 is looking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th this, is th this is the kind of game where you have to accept that you will take damage. Uh, so, yeah... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, okay, so... This was the uh, target lock as the second yeah. action. So, the plan is... The plan here, sorry, is yeah, maybe you yeah, maybe you try and catch Garvin first. Oh, and Hera bumps. Oh, Hera bumps. <gasps> okay, so that is that is massive. Yeah, because now Wedge has five dice, range one onto Garvin. Which means probably Garvin dies right here. Yeah. With only one die and being at three hole. Oh man. Uh, I I will I will close the uh, the angle. What? No, the the bedding is already closed. <laughs> but like okay. zooming in because like the <laughs> this is like a bit messy <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Okay. 
now it's it's better for those who have uh, glasses that should be better <laughs> <laughs> perfect okay so wedge rolling uh, yeah. one so far but keeping it okay so he is definite no he rolls everything oh. okay I mean, you you can argue with that. Doesn't want to spend. Ooh. Okay, so same roll. Same result. Oh man! So first of all, if you want, here? yeah. First of all, if you want to kill, you have to spend, and then you have to hope. Uh, Garvin doesn't <laughs> roll. Uh, an evade. Garvin will survive for sure. Thank. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Evade, so. You are correct. You are correct. Oh man, this is getting. Oh. And he has the He's... evade. Oh man, this is yeah. looking really bad. One, two, three. So, so one away from being killed, but Garvin will have a shot. Oh no, maybe not if Hera, uh, not Hera, Jan kills him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so one that was hit into Jan. Yeah. Jan North and. Ah, oh. do you take it or not? You have two focus. Yep. Maybe maybe you just bankrupt, but <laughs> you avoid taking damage, right? <laughs> um, because the E wing shot is really looking, uh, is really menacing. Yeah, you you just yeah. There you go. Perfect. All right, so now Janors, looking Range to yeah maybe to yeah initiative kill Garvin that would be uh, yeah this, yeah this this is probably necessary <laughs> in the end because if Garvin shoots uh, this is getting really bad there oh and here Garvin is gone this is a very good natties <laughs> I mean the right mm -hmm. moment to do so. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure. O on front side, for sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should have edited that. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, the, in the chat they are saying it's a bloody game. It is a bloody game. <laughs> yeah. We we probably won't have seventy five minutes. <laughs> I'm quite sure of that. <laughs> okay, E wing on Jan. Focus and two blanks. He has a target lock, right? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Ooh. And spent focus for five, uh, four hits, sorry. Mm -hmm. So Jan cannot die from this, but still can hit some dust. Ooh. Only taking two shields with spending yeah. the focus. There you go. Now Cassian. Yep. Uh, what are they? There is a lot of tokens right there. Yeah. Wrong color, but they fix it. Um. <laughs> they are both Dice getting for Pierre. Yeah, <laughs> defense versus defense. <laughs> Better attack, best attack is defense, right? <laughs> so. yeah. Shooting at era, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's range one. Ooh. Ooh, oh, hit it, Chris. Man. Oof. Half points on Hera. Oh, this. They they are just like ro I mean, Pierre is rolling fire right now. Yeah. And every time he does, um, Sebastian wields a blank blank focus or something with the defense dice. Yep. So now Kyle. I I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Jan did. Oh yeah, Jan did use his ability on which. My bad. Because like you, you could have had the range, uh, not the range, the initiative one shot uh, from the bandit on on four dice against uh, Hera. 
And Wedge is gone. Oh, Wedge takes three, four actually. Uh, why four? No, just three. No. But anyway, that doesn't change anything. So yeah. Wedge dies. That's the information. And Wedge died without using his uh, crack shot. Yeah. Not, not and sure now if it's MVP. Great. Yeah, the MVP right now. <laughs> Can kill Hera. Uh, yeah. Three with focus versus three defense dice. No modification for Hera. And of course, oh. hit, crit, crit. Oh. <laughs> Oh and... man! Oh wow! I mean, it, it it was looking kind of biased, but now it's looking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> because in this situation, with the two uh, hardest pieces to kill already yeah. dead. Yeah. Man, I mean, you, you still much. you still have a punch. <laughs> Because you've got three dice from the Moldy Crow, you've got three dice from a ship that is really maneuverable, the the E Wing, but the E Wing is yeah. one away from half, and Kylie is not in a good position. Yep. Oh man. Yeah. Th this is definitely um. going to go real fast. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching and... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Hope you like the, the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... I... Um, next time on Short X-Wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would be a thing, right? Like, you've got 30 minutes to table your opponent. What the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. So I I'm, I think this was an an error I believe, but the turret is facing front on Kyle, which is probably not what you want <laughs> with the yeah yeah there you go that was the uh, I I noticed it noticed that um, uh, last last round he I I think by clicking the um, attack arc he moved the turret without uh, without paying attention attention to it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for sure the the turret was on the left, and this was logical choice. Okay, so now let's put ourselves in uh, Sebastian's position. What what do you do with everything that you have left? Which is uh, um, many. You kill with Kyle, Jan, Ors, and with. With the rogues, with the wing, kill something else, and then, yeah, two versus one ship, then it will be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the E wing might probably want to uh, three talon in this situation, I believe. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think there is any other position in which you are uh, looking good. But the thing is, I don't remember really well the blues on. Um, the E-Wing, so, one straight, one bank, two straight, three straight, four straight. Okay, so, a lot of straight and one bank. So, yeah, not bad. No evades for Swiss, and every time, full four fronts, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> yeah. Is Jan not stressed? Uh, Jan is, but Cassian removed it. Yeah. So... This is the, the thing in uh, activation. Oh, so <laughs> what 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 is this? <laughs> the U wing is facing the bandits. That's <laughs> <laughs> hello. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, obviously, the U wing is in a very good position to to zero uh, Leia next turn, which is yeah. very good. But like the this is like. <laughs> but in this turn, he will do nothing. Oh yeah, probably. Maybe bump uh, Kyle, although I'm not Maybe, quite sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah. bump Kyle. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> so with the MVP, there are three hits. Um... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kyle could kill Bandit, or Bandit could roll 
four natural hits. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> oh, maybe not, because the arc is not pointed the right direction, so maybe Janors has to rotate. So the question is, do you want to focus rotate, just rotate? I mean, you, you sure do want to rotate. That is, like, pretty much mandatory. Yeah. But the thing is, do you take a focus with it? Because you are stressed for next turn, and that is not that good. I mean, at this point, if you kill Kyle, the game is over. That's... Yeah. This is this is the battle of the hoax. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> it's really hard now for for the best end, So yeah, yeah. But without Kyle, look, look, looking at that, you could you could like uh, have a documentary on those uh, <laughs> epic battles on the uh, the Pacific Oceans uh, <laughs> with the <laughs> with the boats uh, launch, launching torpedoes <laughs> at each other. <laughs> oh man, boosting with your numbers. Oh, boosting, okay. yeah. I mean, not a bad idea if it is white, but the thing is, you don't get to use your ability. Yeah. What did he want to... Oh, evade the uh, E-Wing arc. I believe this was the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay, so E-Wing on to Cassian. One hit. And with range Ooh. 3, that would... They will not give an evade, so one shield on Cassian. Right, so Cassian won't be seeing anything. Hey, you've got arc with Kyle. Okay. Adding to your north range one. Do you spend? You have to, I think. You are behind and... Yeah. Probably. Need two points. And nothing. And get it. So two. Half points, right? Oh yeah, half points and Jan living on one. Yeah. And now. <laughs> <laughs> Three versus two. Unmodified from both sides. Okay, two. And that's two. And that's and two evades. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> All right. So now Cassian can remove stress from the bandit. <laughs> that can mm -hmm. just like do a three talon <laughs> yeah. white with Leia. <laughs> that's yeah. just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Leia, he will take Leia this turn for sure. And we'll rotate to the left with the U wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks looks good. I mean, you 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 have one less agility, but Cassian only took one shield, so you might as well try and catch some fire onto Cassian to uh, to give uh, Jan some time, and then you've got the bandit that can just like probably smash some things with a. Uh, Focus and one more die uh, due to uh, to Jan, or maybe Cassian will get the extra die. That's that's always the possibility. And the thing now yeah. is Kyle is in a very bad position because um, you do not want to stay right where you ha where you are, which means you have to move. And if you move, then you lose your front arc attack, which is quite bad. Hmm. Do you well, you can please stay or you can bump into Cassian's Yeah, I mean that Bandit will take I, I would go with Bandit a two heart or something to the right. Janors will take Yeah, two heart to the left maybe. Yeah. Two heart then... to the left, then you focus rotate because you're in a good position yeah. to do so. Yeah. Okay. Activation, remove the stress. Mm -hmm. That's Cassian. Uh, Leia okay. was popped. Yep. Yeah. Two, three. There you go. Three heart. Oh, three heart. So you try and block. 
Maybe Kyle, may maybe the E-Wing, maybe both. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you rotate with this? Yeah. yeah, for sure. There you go. Takes focus. Ooh. Ooh. Kyle played it smart. Yeah. I mean that that's still a very good position to be in uh, for uh, for Pierre as uh, everyone's facing the E wing. But yeah, Kyle Kyle played played it smart. <laughs> and I think Kessin has arc on Kyle. Oh really? I think it's oh, but it's closed. Oh yeah, you are correct. This is very close. Oh, it might just be in. Yeah. Ooh. And the Ewing did a one bank, cleared the stress, and is directly facing the MVP. <laughs> you have to shoot at this moment all into Kessin. Yeah, because the little guy is not worth anything at the moment. Yeah, uh, is it what is 22 points? Um, it is 22 indeed. But hey, you know what? There's 90 points to 87, so the game is really close. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a focus rotate and rotate, of course, mm -hmm. to the left. Oh, and uh, Kyle rotated to the um, the back. To the back. Yeah. yeah. This is the reason why everyone, everyone is stressed right now. No, not everyone. The rogues yeah. are doing not. <laughs> the, 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 hoax, the hoax, the hoax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's... So, a, two. Yeah. two against two. Mm -hmm. Ooh. One hit. <laughs> Close to hit crit, but... Yeah. And anyway. you waited. All right. Okay, so... Oh, maybe the wing is shooting Jan so that she can't use her ability. But that's range three. You've got three v three. Yeah, this is the kind of situation where where this is difficult to choose, and this is the reason why Cassian did not take such a risk by doing uh, yeah. the zero. So that's going to do two, and you have to spend to do two, which is yeah. probably not hitting. Ooh. And yes, it does. Kills Jen. And um, yep. Yeah, now it's gone. What is good for Sebastian? Oh yeah, for sure. But now Sebastian is ahead. Yeah, and equal the the ships on the table. Mm -hmm. All right. So three dice from Cassian. Mm hmm. Goes into the E-ring. Mm -hmm. Average roll. Yeah, he has a lock mm -hmm. taken last turn or two turns ago, I believe. Yeah. He has a focus as well, I believe. He has. But... Reroll to a crit and hit hit crit. All right, this is looking good. This is looking very Ooh. good as focus was spent to yeah. kill Jan. Shield. Uh, no, yeah. One shield. And crit is damaged engine. Ooh, this is. Not, not, I mean, is it is it the worst as one hard or already? Uh, All hearts now red. So. Yeah. Uh, damaged engine. It's not good, but it's. Yeah. So the direct or something. Not the worst. Not the worst. Yeah. So this is Kyle. Who hits into Cassian, Cassian? I believe. Yeah. Hey. And one damage. Cassian, one shield. Yeah. All right. And now the MVP. Can the MVP kill the E Wing? Oh man. Has what Who he needs. Gets the and kill. Blank out. Oh yeah. man. 
I mean, this time, <laughs> this was not Pierre's dice. This was like Sebastian's <laughs> defense. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad at all, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, in any of those situations, the the like the solution is the same, right? But like on the begin in the beginning that was Pierre, now it's Sebastian. <laughs> it's like oh, Yeah. Man. Well now, now it... Kyle versus MVP and Cassian. K- 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 Oof. Yep. Not looking good. So that's 146 to 116, so 30 point lead, which means if you take half of Cassian, then you are ahead by one little point. That's enough. That's all we need. (laughs) Exactly. So Cassian is probably doing a zero and then um, uh, like rotating to the left, maybe? Yeah. Or he might just go behind the cloud and hide hide from uh, Kyle. I don't know. Okay, stays closed. So yeah, probably a zero. There you go. Mm-hmm. And one straight. All right. Move press, take target lock and... So Cassian is shooting first. Kyle did not take any damage so far, so that's very yeah. good for Sebastian. Let's hope that for him that it goes the same. And yeah, mm-hmm. not a very good shot. One ha- one hit and yeah, no modifications. Mm-hmm. Ooh, but the thing is, you do you take it? That's very dangerous. He takes. Takes it. Okay. Yeah. So that's. And now. So now the thing is, if he takes. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. One hit. No. No, don't spend. He saves the focus. Yeah. I mean, if he if would if he would have done two right now, Kyle could have gone for. Uh... Oh. For the uh, yeah, he he had half, and he could have gone for the pursuit, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. um, okay, so Leia is at two right now. There you go. And did was Kyle in the bullseye? I'm looking. Um, no. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> Because like I was like that that would have been the second uh, the second uh, time uh, um, yeah. crack shot is not used. Okay, let's get back to a there you go to the previous camera. All right, so Kyle with only one shield left against uh, Cassian with two shields down and the MVP uh, full. Untouched. Yeah. So probably next. Okay. So uh, yeah. Um, he's moving first. Is the four going through Kyle or not? Oh ho ho ho! Ooh. Keeps the stress. Opens the wing. Open the wings. Probably. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. You don't lose anything to do so. So. Oh, Ooh. smart play! Very well played by uh, by Sebastian here. Get behind the U wing. So it could be. Oh man! And hit, yeah. hit, crit. Looking very good. So crit is sure for sure. Oh no, shields. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Shield. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Don't don't ever tell me again that this is a game of positioning. <laughs> <laughs> and now, MVP. Okay. One hit. Li- little MVP right oh, now. Oh, target lock. Oh, target, target lock. Target lock. Oh, and okay. two hits. Okay, like medium MVP. Oh, oh. two evades. Oh, oh, nice one. 
<laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair, for sure. And now Leia is available. Ready again? Yep. Yeah. I mean, the the the, um, the most complex tax task for uh, this kind of lists is to remember to recharge Leia. <laughs> I believe. <Yeah. laughs> okay, but now what? What about the bandit? What do you want to do with it? Um, hard to say. What he has, um, he has only the K three and four K. We don't do, want to do that. Um, oh no, <laughs> with the rock. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, probably one bank to the right. Bump into case Cassian. Yeah, but the thing is, if you if you bump, and then Kyle bumps onto you. Then he will have a shot onto the Ewing without any response. And if you pop Leia right now, Cassian is already stressed. So that is not looking good because you don't have any action and you have to turn like 90 degrees. I mean, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's tough because if Cassian stops and rotates 180 degrees, and Kyle goes through him. Too hard to the right or something. Oh yeah, I, I mean basically anything that just like leaves it out of the way. <gasps> that's mm -hmm. that's terrible. So uh, I'm I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Cassian is stopping here. I believe you just one bank to the left, take a focus, and like next turn you probably lay yeah. Yeah. And 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 of I course. Hope yeah, go ahead. Uh, I hope um, Kyle will do something like too hard to the right or something. It's not blue, but he has a focus from previous turns. Yeah. So probably wait anything, shoot out of the back and get half from Cassian and then run. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still um, 20 minutes, 21 minutes left, so no, you can't run. Maybe it will be a 75 minutes game, after all. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the heavy hitters are all dead, like Wedge, E-Wing, um, uh, Jan, yeah, well, <laughs> Garvin, <laughs> everyone is dead. Like, you're punching with two dice. Each each time. And so here's the one bank with Bandit Squadron. Yeah, okay. Faces himself for next turn. Mm hmm So now we'll see if Sebastian Yeah, there you go. Ooh. That's that's a good Bumped. thing for Pierre, yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. next... Oh no, yeah, no shots. Yeah, but you okay. next turn you have the four K uh, uh you have Leia four K and Leia zero, which is very good. So hit crit yep. into Cassian. And how many weights? None. Go both go through half yep. points and the crit. Direct. Direct hit. Cassian on two. Yes. Ooh, the game is not over. <laughs> oh no. And now this is, like we said earlier, Sebastian ahead by one point. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Maybe there's the new MVP after <laughs> this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so Leia this turn. Zero. Turn. Yeah. And four four K with the uh, the MVP maybe three K three three will, would be enough. Yeah. Okay. yeah, don't go far away. Because Sebastian has to go right, I think three hard or something.
he has. Oh, three heart is, is red, so. Oh, yeah, probably, on, the, on the hook, yeah. Yeah. Probably two heart and maybe the boost. Or go into range one and try to kill Cassian this round. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, that could be a very good plan because. Yeah. If you kill, I mean, the, the problem is if you kill him, he still gets to, to shoot. So lay up on yeah. But anyway, that's probably the win if you kill him. Only don't get killed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so target lock for the Z95. Gassian yeah. rotating as we said earlier. Yeah, 180 degrees. So minus and one agility, mm -hmm. and debating over the uh, yeah over the uh, focus or uh, target lock right now could be important. Oh, maybe maybe Ooh, you force force yeah. rate and boost. Yeah, I I mean this is what I was wondering about, and the reason why I was calling the four K instead of the three K is that yeah. if if Kyle did go fast with the three K. Yeah. Okay, no, we did not go, go fast. Go anyway. So, um, what did he take? Uh, he's, he did not choose yet. Uh. Okay, so just... Okay, perfect. Uh, oh, taking an evade with... Uh, with Jin, maybe? Is that what he thinks? I mean, that's not bad either, because... Ah... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Not quite sure, actually. And takes the evade. Um, die 2, it's, uh, it's uh, Pierre who has initiative. Yeah. Yes, Fabian. Pierre has initiative. And hit crit. It crit, and uh, this is a focus or target lock? This was the target lock, so let's reroll. Target lock, yeah. Into and crit. Okay, so that's at least a shield down. Oh, and man. the crit goes through. Ah. So hit crit. Hit yeah. And now Pierre is going ahead <laughs> right now, right away. So what is the crit? It is... Damage sensor already. Ooh. Not that bad. Damaged sensor array. Now let's see if Kyle kills uh, Cassian. Because that's four. That's one. Yeah. And oh no. no. Spending the focus was the right choice. Oh no, he didn't take a focus, sorry, he take an evader. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And now the MVP. And clear it. Target right. lock. Right, yep. Definitely. For two. And crit, crit. Oh, crit. Oh no! And both go through. Oh, I can't and believe it. it. Yep. That's it. That's about it. GG to France. They won the series. Oh man. What After a game. Huh? Zero yeah, what well, a game. After two, zero two behind, and then takes the four two victory. Yep. Congratulations, yeah. Yeah, GG to both players. Yes, yep. That was, uh, and yeah. both player in this game, but every every player uh, that has already already played that that was a very good series. Yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, I loved the game I had. I lose, but. It was so fun, and Nicolas a great player, and yeah. nice guy as well. So yeah, that is for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was a lovely series so far, and it's not over yet. So the series. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there is. We have one game left. Yep. at Nine o'clock, right? Yep. Nine nine o'clock. Uh, Seven p.m. UTC for those who are uh, yep. UTC related. So yeah. So will this end up being four three or five two? You'll have to come tonight to do Yeah. Of course, four three. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Uh, yeah, but both all plays played well so far. So yeah, yeah, it was really, it was great, and this game as well. So yeah, this see. this was really dice related, but that's yeah. a good game. That's a good game for sure. Yeah, yeah. At least it's a dice game, so yeah, dice can give and take. That's true. Well, thank you, thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure having thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, it was uh, a pleasure. Yeah. With, uh... And great is your internet working well, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, if, you, if you have got uh, some games you want to... Uh to be streamed, uh, or uh, if you have some uh, need uh, of commentators during the United State, would be my pleasure. Oh, of course, uh, same to you, yeah. Thank you. And um, yeah, I will take this seriously at that next week, maybe with against Denmark mm -hmm. or a French game, maybe when you can't stream. Oh, no, when you can't stream, so can't you? <laughs> yeah. No. Here you go. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, for sure. Thank you again. Thanks, yeah. And have a nice day. And yeah, all you too. Viewers have a nice day too. Yeah. yeah. Rest of the Sunday evening. Dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. All right, so thank you everyone for coming. I hope you liked the game. There is still one uh, going on tonight at uh, 7 p.m. UTC for those who are interested. This will be the last game for this round four. This will be game seven between France and Switzerland. So as you just saw, or if you're just tuning in, uh, France did win the round th uh, four to two right now, leading four to two. So this is a round win. But we've got f some final game. So hope you hope you will be, uh, be there to join us tonight. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining. Thanks for the follows, the support, and the participation in the chat. Um, and uh, yeah, have fun. Take care, and uh, see you tonight for those. Will come. Oh, let me just choose the beddings. So it was Pierre winning. Prediction done. There you go. There you go. Everything is paid. Have fun, everyone. Take care. <laughs>